Brian sitting in for Coach McEwen today. Uh, maybe you want to start with an opening statement uh, today. Yeah, um, I think that, uh, you know, really proud of how our kids uh, kept fighting during the game. I think that uh, we weren't anticipating it being, you know, a single-digit win, but I think when Southeast Missouri went on their run, they got a lot of energy and momentum, and I think we did a good job of calming down, coming out after uh, halftime, just like you guys asked Mel and Kaylee about our third quarter. Um, you know, that's been a big point of emphasis is even when we have adversity, being able to uh, counter that and staying together as a team. Uh, and I think uh, that was something that we did in the second half, which I was really proud of. Every time that SEMO went on another run, we were able to counter it and kind of calm it down. And, you know, SEMO is a pretty good team. They, they play really, really hard, and they kind of play a style that is hard to, like, put away a team like that. So uh, just proud of um, the ability to kind of handle the pressure a little bit better as the game went on and um, some good individual performances as well. So. Coach, how would you evaluate this team's ability to regroup after uh, beating what you guys took in South Bend? Yeah, I think that was um, obviously a, a big thing that we were talking about um, in film sessions and practice, coming back after Notre Dame, and I think we were all disappointed. We were all, um, you know, not happy with how that went, and um, not just the final score, but we just felt like we didn't perform. Like, we don't think we're, we're 60 points worse than Notre Dame, and so uh, we felt like we had a good game plan going into it, and so I think... Uh, you know, we have a, a really good like, together unit, and I think that we all were disappointed in, like, everything. It wasn't just individuals. So um, I think they were really focused in practice, really took the, the scout seriously. Um, you know, SEMO shot really, really well, um, which, um, you know, kudos to them. Uh, but I think that, um, you know, we were, we were locked into the scout. We were locked into the things that we needed to improve, like you said, out rebounding them. Rebounding is, like, a huge point of emphasis for us that we need to continue to pr improve on. And I felt like that was something that um, we took a lot of pride in today. So. Coach, there's another tough game coming up this Wednesday against Florida State, and they're ranked higher than Notre Dame. What do you think that you have to do to be more competitive against Florida State? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, I think we had potentially some jitters against Notre Dame that um, I think are kind of out the way uh, in terms of, of playing a, a team like that. And so I think for the Florida State game, we're, we're super motivated, um, mm -hmm. you know, when we get to the Big Ten play, we're, we're playing Big Ten teams. So playing an ACC team like Florida State, that's that's what we're preparing for. So I think that it gets our team really excited, um, and they really buy into the scouting report, the preparation that goes into it. Um, you know, we're getting to Vegas a little bit earlier just so we are kind of focused, locked in to practice and, and everything. So um, I think just taking the scouting report into a game and, and really, um, you know, the little things like passing, like they said, and, and limiting turnovers, getting good shots every time. So. Coach, you mentioned that rebounding was a focus. You guys also dominated the points in the paint battle today. How much of a focus was that, especially knowing that Southeast Missouri is a smaller team than you guys? Yeah, for sure. I, th I think it's uh, always a point of emphasis for us. We've got uh, really good post play, we feel, and we feel like we um, can, can utilize that. We feel like we have enough shooters this year to stretch the floor and, and kind of balance that inside-out game. So I think, um, you know, really happy that uh, – Kaylee was able to produce down there, and, and we thought that Paige got some good looks too, and um, you know she'll finish those. And uh, so we feel like um, definitely that was something that we we wanted to hammer home, and we were glad we got some good looks. Um, uh, my question, I have a question that has two parts. The first part of that is Mel um, <coughs> Bailey has shot in one three the entire um, season so far across four games, and she's averaging about 18 points now. How do you think that mid-range ability to, to score that many points fits into an offense such as the one that you guys play? Yeah, I think, you know, Mel uh, is really efficient from two, so why she got to take threes? Uh, <laughs> but, no, I think that she moves really well without the ball. I think um, she is a super high IQ player, so I think because of that, um, you know, we run a lot of stuff that <coughs> Get to those looks, and but a lot of it's kind of organic that um, you know you see Caroline Lau with ten assists, and um, you know she finds her in the right spots. She cuts off of our posts really well, so I think um, a lot of that is is Mel just being a super smart basketball player. And then the second part of my question is: Do, do you do, do you and the coaching staff see her as becoming almost like a scoring option, <coughs> like a number one scoring option in a way, or do you think you're gonna uh, it, the, the offense will just flow as it flows, and she might score a lot sometimes? She yeah, I, th I think that we anticipate just the offense kind of flowing depending on the matchups like you see today. You know, Kaylee had 27, and 
Um, so I think we take a lot of pride in having a lot of different tools that we can use. And, um, you know, depending on the night, depending on the matchup and who's hot, we're able to kind of rely on different people. So uh, especially as you get the season going and scouting reports get tighter, um, you know, you can't just have one scoring option. And, and luckily, we, we feel like we have a, a lot of different tools. Uh, Coach, just 10 points from the bench tonight, and it seems like so far through the first four games, the best times for your offense has been when those five starters are all on the floor at the same time, but obviously that can't happen for the full 40 minutes. How do you ensure that you guys are still able to create and score points when one or two of them has to leave the court? Yeah, I think that the people we bring off the bench do a lot for us, and, and I think you know Maggie Pina hit some big shots today for us, and um, I think that when you know Jasmine Williams goes in, she makes a lot of things happen. She creates second opportunities from crashing the offensive boards. Um, you know, she has really good takes to the basket. I think that uh, like Mercy and Casey that came in today, they also really create a lot of different like spacing on the floor for us to make our offense good. So, um, you know, I think that we uh, sometimes, even though the bench only scored ten points, I think that what they do for us on the floor is is more than just like the points score. They're, they're spacing the floor, they're creating opportunities for other players. So um, we feel like we have uh, really good, you know, rotations and, and a really deep bench. So. Uh, yeah, sorry, Coach. Um, we saw the second quarter today, Simo went on a big run. That was also the quarter uh, where things got out of hand against Notre Dame and UIC. What do you need to do to make sure that as the half nears its end, you're not losing control of the game? Yeah, no, it's a good question. I think uh, something that we're definitely looking at, um, you know, and, and like Mel said earlier, I think that in the past third quarters haven't been good for us. So now we're just kind of addressing a different part of the game. But uh, I think uh, just we keep preaching like when we are faced with adversity, we have to keep our poise and be patient. And I think, um, you know, shot selection, just handling the pressure, those kinds of things, um, you know, when they hit maybe two shots in a row and, and we turn the ball over, you know, collecting ourselves, running something, just being a little bit more poised. And, and it's something that we talk about in practice a lot and, and in film and our, our players are really, you know, buying into it and they're, you know, self-aware of it. So I think that it's just something continuing that uh, we, we need to work on. So. Uh, Coach, earlier you mentioned how nice it is to have shooters this year that help spread the floor for your post players. This game, <coughs> KD, four, seven from three. What sort of new wrinkles does it add to the offense when the post player is one of those players who can also stretch the floor for you? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, you know, something that Coach McEwen is, is really good at is having, like, a two-post kind of offense with a shooting post and a, and a more back-to-the-basket post. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice when um, that post is hitting the three. So just like Kaylee did today, uh, it really helps, you know, space the floor for the high-low post. And, uh, yeah, I think that uh, we have a lot of good options out of certain sets. So I think that, um, you know, today it uh, really, really showed through. So. Coach, you guys head to Vegas tomorrow with an opportunity to play two really good basketball teams. What are you most looking forward to about the trip? Yeah, I'm super excited about really good competition. Like I said, you know, we, we look forward to playing the Florida States of the world, the Stanfords, of, um, you know, the Notre Dames, and uh, getting ready for the Big Ten season. So I think, uh, you know, being tested early, I think is a really positive thing. Uh, so looking forward to the competition, and, and I think also just, you know, having Thanksgiving together out of town uh, when it's kind of just, just us that we've got. So um, good bonding trip. Uh, did a lot in Spain, and now we got Vegas. So we're all over the map. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, extra box orders right here.